educator at the Santa Clarita Valley Water Agency. We all know that it takes a lot of water to grow and produce all of the foods that we eat every day. Today, I am going to be demonstrating how many gallons of water it takes to produce one regular size cheeseburger. Well, maybe not a regular size cheeseburger, but we're going to use this one for demonstration. So for the top bun, you can see it has sesame seeds, it's made from wheat, flour, and oats. And from the time that all of those seeds are planted into the ground until everything's all picked and it's harvested and it's taken to a manufacturing plant, it takes about 11 gallons of water to make that one bun. Wow, that's just the one side of it, not even the bottom. Then, I like lettuce on my burgers. For one leaf of lettuce, not the whole head, but just one leaf, it takes about one and a half gallons of water. Again, to grow that lettuce from those seeds. Are you tracking? We've got 12 and a half. Also my favorite, tomatoes on a cheeseburger. And for one slice, again, not the whole tomato, it takes three gallons of water. Wow, just for two different slices of vegetables, it takes quite a bit of water. Keep tracking. Now it would not be a cheeseburger unless it had cheese, and I love cheese. And for one slice of cheese, it takes 56 gallons of water. And you might be thinking, how do you grow cheese? Well, of course, um, you have the cow that needs to drink water, it needs to eat the grass, and then all of that is turned into dairy products, and again, manufactured, and it takes 56 gallons of water for one slice of cheese. Hey, now, here comes the burger, and this is astonishing, okay? And it's not a double-double, but it's a single patty, 616 gallons of water to make that one patty, okay? And again, think about um, it's beef, and the cow is drinking all of that water, eating all of that grass, and then it's taken its manufactured again, and that's just for one patty. Wow, okay, 616 gallons of water. Finally, we have the other side of our bun. Okay, that was just a half. So the other half is another 11 gallons. Again, for that wheat and for the oats and everything. Another 11 gallons, okay? We have a grand total of 698 and a half gallons of water for one cheeseburger, okay? For one cheeseburger. That is, again, okay, so astonishing. And now you know the importance of why it's so um, good to save water and to conserve. And I'm sure that you have some great ideas. Um, imagine if your family of four ordered four cheeseburgers. You do the math on that. I think it's time for dinner.